Hey guys, it's Chris, and I am cleaning out a Power Mac G5. It ended up being not too good. It was picky, complaining, being a normal Amiga product. Uh, I broke off my clips for some reason, so I just hung them on there with some tape. I banged into it. It must have popped them off. I don't know. Again, we had the 2.5 inch hard drive here, which I'm going to remove because, like I said, got my old server operating system on there and I got some information on there that I don't really need but I feel like I need so I'm gonna keep it and we're gonna go with I don't know a 120 Intel 160 Intel SSD she's the old class now what I did was prior to this oh my god get in there Eh, good enough. Prior to this, I had the secondary channel here unplugged, and I ran a uh, this Molex with the SATA, and I just had another SATA cable plugged in. I took that out. I hooked up the original, uh, you just flip these little buttons and she slides right out, the IDE uh, CD-ROM back into the IDE. We're going to fire this up with the CD, and uh, I'm going to show you what it does. Slide this right here. It's a little bit heavy. She weighs about, I don't know, 55 some odd pounds. Let's get off the old Linux here. We're going to go to VGA. Might help if I plug it in. So like I said, on these Apple devices, you need this little 80 DVI thing, the VGA. Because of the card that's in here, this is the stock card. So here we are, back the way it was. I have to put this in because there's a photo cell down here that if it doesn't detect a white reflectivity, you can put a piece of paper down there. The fans go into overdrive. So we're going to use my uh, micro connectors green keyboard again. Use the mouse again from the Raspberry Pi 400. Here we go. Pressing the button, holding the C key down. Might help by. Uh, come on. Give me the tray. So we got the old Mac ROM doing the old search. And then maybe it'll load. We'll see. There we go. So this is the IDE CD ROM. We should see the butterfly. RPC Max 7.2, 1,729 megs of RAM. I, it's got more than that. I think that's just what it uses to boot. English, American keyboard. Can you see that? I'm just going to zoom on in here just a little bit. I'm going to do the old install. Now it shows my SSD already right here. It looks like it's got crap on it. Let's take a peek. Come on. We got, uh, what is on here? HFS data. This is... I don't know what's this. This is like one of my Mac installs. Multi-Beast. Okay, so this was a Hackintosh drive from who knows what. We're going to do a new installation. We're going to say United States. Radeon 9600. 24 bit. Yep. Time zone. Uh, America. It's 1978. Yeah, baby. 2021. American. Whatever. Turn on the old wireless. Wait for it to sniff here. Should detect your Wi Fi card if you got one. Here she is. We're going to double click, type my password, and this will turn into a green dot. Next. Automatically select your system part decision size. All of it. 147 gigabytes. It ain't going to work. It's got to be like 8. I'm going to try 20. Maybe. 
Yeah, erase the disk, please. System and work. And then install. I'm going to pause this for a second until it's done so I don't chew up my battery in my memory card. And I got myself a new battery. She's a half AA. That's kind of interesting. Lithium. $7.99. That's kind of a rip off, but you can't find them. Micro Center had it. So, it worked on a 20, so let's see. 20 gig, and then we should have 100 and something, 127 on work. Alright, well, let's give it the old uh, rebooto here. Remember, this is the, the no craps given. Can you eject my drive, please? Ooh, that's nice and slow. Alright. So, boop, we're going to reboot. Reboot. This thing don't give a crap, it's just rebooting. If you hear a noise of fans, that is my solar inverter freaking out, powering a 1200 watt power supply and a Power Mac G5 off of uh, my battery bank. So there we go, Morpho S. About 3.1.5 unregistered demo version. We're gonna shut her down because I'm killing my batteries here. I'm going to plug this sucker into the wall. Should I put the battery in? I should, but I'm not going to. I don't know if this is it or not. We're going to find out. So, Morph OS. Let's try to put my key back on. They don't like the... Uh, Hoot IFF and games. Diablo and Quake. Oh, I wonder. Let's go to work here. Let's just copy Quake. Let's check this one. Plug it in the wrong way, flip it over, plug it in the wrong way, flip it over. Your time is 1978. Morph OS key. Okay, so that goes in what? Boot. Nope. System. Devs. Morph OS key. I think it's devs. About. I gotta reboot. Reboot! Hard drives are a little picky. Still not a big fan of a small system partition. Every time I try to make a large one, it just doesn't fit. When you do the Chrysalis pack and a couple of the other expansions that Morph allows or recommends you put on, it's just, uh, it doesn't work. I'll try it again, but we'll see. My key's not working. Where's my key go? Here's a trick for all you people. If you need to blow out your machine, just pull this out. All the fans go to high, except the processor fans, which is weird. As soon as you put it back in, she shuts right down. All right, story of my life. Let's uh, take this batch right here and put a battery in it. So here it is, a little tiny weird uh, one four. 250C replace it with a not the same battery but the same battery I want to check the old voltage on this sucker she's been sitting in the drawer for a long time so here's the original battery what are you zero volts for get down there that's AC there we go DC this will be the ground and these are always tangled up hold on Every time you use them, they're always tangled up. All right, negatory, pository. Oh, 0 0.04 volts. We're rocking. What's the new old one at? Three point six nine. What is this voltage? Wow, this was made in Israel, November twenty twelve. Three point six volts. 3.69 volts. That's cool. Let's put that in there and see if it helps. Boop! Max, save everything in their NVRAM and their SMC system management controller, which is always powered. And that's how it saves all of its goodies. So, get up there. Oh, let's put the cover back on again. I must not have put it in the right place. I don't know. 
OS key. Sys devs morph OS dot key. That's where I put it. That's where I put it. Oh, it's not named correctly. Oh, excuse me. Is that right? Let's see how fast OWB opens this time. Much better. Looks like we're working again though, so that's cool. And I registered. Whoop. I don't know why my key's not working. It's supposed to work. Well, you know what? That's because this key is in use on on that system down there. I don't even see it around my gut or my fat neck. Right down there is the other Morphos machine. I worked out last time though. That's what's weird. Alright, 315. I'm not spending another $70 on another key. Alright, so we're going to go to modules. We're going to go to CPU meter. Nope, not CPU. Oh, come on. Not CPU meter. Modules. Not the old thermal. 55 degrees Celsius. Can I make that fair and hizzle? Drive lamps. I like to see when it's reading or writing. Let's go to work. Let's try Quake. Run demo. Just flat basics. It doesn't like it. You got the shells. Necropolis. Line is corrupt. Nobody. And I'm frozen. Control. Oh boy. Poof. Oh, I knocked my paper out. There you go. You happy now? I'm in six. This is not 640 by 480. Let's throw this sucker up 24 bit. Uh, 1280 by 1024. Looks the same to me. The blanker butterflies. That's like their take on the, uh, what do you call it? Flying toasters. There you go. Feathers is always cool. It does not like this graphics card. Barely hanging on. Flurry is my go-to. It's my max screen saver. This is not working well. No, yeah, it's working. It takes a lot. Oh. Yeah. The must of blankers. Yeah, flying toasters. There we go. That's what I run. Alright, so we're going to go save on those. Add a host. Alright, so it's 192.168.1.2. What happened? Now I lost internet. Oh, this is just, this is just great. So it is like a real Amiga. Can you just get online? Do you need this little antenna even though you're right next to the damn thing? Reboot? I'm going to get my beverage. Let's see, we have internet now. Omega. Got internet now. Alright. Ping X serve 2. Now we're cooking with bacon. Alright. Now let's uh let's get MUI uh, oh my god, what's it called? I don't know. SMB mounter on here. This will work with Amiga Explorer too. I'm gonna do my ADF's disk. Because why not? Let's just see what's on here. These are my Amiga OS Masters. Great. And on that one. Let's try this red one here. I got so many thumb drives. Reboot again. This is a great video, isn't it? God. What a nutshell, you can install Morph OS on your Mac G5 for free. Burn the CD. I burned mine to a DVD-RW even though it is a uh, small image. These come with DVDs. The IDE is working fine. If you have some weirdness, it's probably your hard drive. They're really weird and picky. You can't put modern stuff in them for some reason. Choose this. Preview. <laughs> Bye, Amiga. On Morph OS. That is hilarious. Oh, 
Well, that was fast. It did show it for a dashing split second. 136 degrees. Is that bad? I don't know. For a G5? I guess that's okay. And I want to show you what happens when uh, the timer kicks off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video for just a second for my end. And for you, it'll only be a couple seconds. All right, so it's been like 30-something minutes. I just put SMB mounter on. Now I can see my Amiga networking share. I was looking for it. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to download this in SMBFS off of Aminet, which is what I did. And here is my stuff. So now I can grab things. Like, I'll just open up work here. We're going to grab some stuff. From anyway, let's run directory of us. Cancel, cancel. Makes it a lot easier. I can run Opus. I need to configure this screen mode because holy crap, that's tiny. Not a big fan of the not dragging out the windows. That is uh, ambient preferences here. You can go into settings. I believe it's ambient. And then it's like uh, panels. No. Wait a minute. I'll find it. I didn't put the Crystalis pack on. So the Crystalis pack is what makes morph. And I got the Ultimate uh, EUAE pack, which is the 68K-ish emulator for that stuff. So the Crystalis pack is 710 megs. Alright, so 45 minutes in, we get this warning, your unregistered Morph OS will time out in a minute. The system will slow down. If you wish to register, please use the Reg Tool application. So I'm still copying some files underneath there. And uh, I have to let it go, because... Got six minutes left. It's actually sort of working now. So it's possible that the system doesn't detect a valid key if the battery isn't working anymore or if there's other hardware problems. Well, my battery wasn't working, and uh, we'll see. I don't know. All right. And when it means slow, it will get slow. It will slow down dramatically. I don't know why, but. At least it works. You know, you can still do stuff. Get out of there. I gotta fix some directory opus things. You can't really see that. So I'm gonna let this copy. We'll get the Chrysalis pack on here, which is kind of like a Boeing bag. Think of it as a Boeing bag for OS 3.9 on the Amiga. Or like Magic Workbench with a bunch of crap for a 68K Amiga. Or whatever. Mount. Alright, install Chrysalis pack. You need to have Morph OS. <laughs> um, I do. So, anyway, thanks for watching. At least we got the base OS install of Morph OS with the IDE CD-ROM. And the 45 minute timeout really slows you down. As always, thanks for watching. And I hope you learned something.